So what's up guys, as you know, I have a guest, not in my apartment, but in my video today. So it's the Natural Art Freak and we collaborated on a little project, a very fun project actually. And it's this, in case you haven't seen it. you like this little project this is what this tutorial series is about uh, the series is basically split into three parts I didn't intend a third part but it turned out to be way longer than I uh, expected so the first very long part is on the natural art freaks channel and that's how to model this R8 you've just seen the second part also on the natural art freaks channel but by me as a guest on his channel I'm gonna talk about how uh, the lighting is done and everything that is visual the shaders I even baked the shadow because it's uh, EV rendering. So everything that's visual, I'm going to um, talk about on his channel as a guest. And the third part uh, is actually going to be back on my channel. That's going to be animation and post-processing and yeah, everything like that on top. So the final part to actually end up with this video. So uh, I won't waste your guys' time anymore and actually give away the microphone to the natural art freak which is today uh, which is here today so have fun and uh, see you soon and probably see you on his channel then bye hello everybody and uh thank you for hosting me damien i am super excited to be on your channel today i'm pretty sure most of you out there already know me because i'm pretty sure we have some subscribers in common that's for sure but if you know me you know uh, i model cars on my channel in general which falls under hard surface modeling uh, which is one of the most difficult topics in 3d modeling so uh, i'm going to keep this message short if you want to learn how to model cars generally in blender and be uh, really good at it then uh, my channel is one to visit so um, I model cars using two types of techniques one which involves the shrink wrap modifier and the subdivision surface and the second method which doesn't involve any of them or even if it does it's just gonna be the subdivision surface at level one and uh, these two techniques have the advantages and disadvantages. The first one, which is the shrink wrap method, gives you very uh, high quality, super high quality surfaces for your finish, which can be used, uh, uh, which I would recommend using in still shots. That is just images and all the stuff. I mean, you can use it in video games and movies as well, but if you don't mind using uh, too much or high poly vehicles in your game, then you're good to go. But if you're looking for something you want to use in a video game or maybe a movie that you do not want to use too much uh, poly count poly counted vehicles in then you could go for the second method so both of those methods are on my channel uh, the recent one that I finished was the Audi R8 V10 plus which then involved the shrink wrap and the Audi R8 V10 I mean sorry not the Audi R8 uh, which then involved the shrink wrap and the subdivision surface but the first one which was about a year ago involved both of them so uh, there are also going to be future videos, uh, believe me on that, there are going to be future videos uh, tackling different types or difficult, much more difficult surfaces, vehicle stuff, uh, surfaces, and uh, all types of vehicles, aircrafts, uh, ships, and uh, you know, all kinds of uh, vehicles you can think of. Because this is uh, still a young channel, it's still new, I still haven't had much content on it, but there are definitely going to be more series on that. And also how to model vehicles from just images, okay, not blueprints, just images and uh, all that stuff is going to be fun also how to animate them and all those stuff there's definitely going to be future videos on that so uh, if you're definitely interested in stuff like that just go ahead and check out my channel and uh, you know just you know what to do just hit that red button and you're good to go so uh, once again thank you for hosting me Damien and uh, I also gave my Audi R8 V10 Plus to Damien to visualize for me so you guys should uh, see that video you should check it out it's going to be awesome because I know my Audi R8 V10 Plus is in good hands. I'm actually looking forward to seeing that video. This is the first time I'm going to watch a video on my channel that I didn't make. That is so awesome. So uh, there's also definitely going to be more future videos from the two of us because I feel like we have a connection. He's more into automotive as I am and he's more into the visualizing aspect and I'm more into the uh, modeling aspect. So definitely there's going to be more collaboration from us in the future videos. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.